you know, newcomers to the wars have to earn the right to fight. And on extreme, that means taking on some of the veterans. Now, we'll be meeting the Robo Rookies in a minute, but the team that are going to take them on is Dominator 2, the veterans. Now, team, what do you think the secret of your success has been so far? Why are you such a nails robot? Well, it's a good design, it's reliable, fast, and it's got the axe of doom. Oh, confident? We are. Well, I've been having a little snoop around the pits, and I have met your opposition, and they say that you keep banging on about your plasma nitride coated titanium protection, which apparently is nothing more than paint. Well, if that's what they think, let's get in that arena yeah. now. And the Executioner team, welcome to the wars, but that is where the niceties stop, because you're drawn up against Dominator 2, and it's not going to be pretty. What do you reckon? What have you got to throw back at them? It's going to be a doddle. Who are Dominator 2? Let's face it, it's a triangular shaped box. Plasma nitride coated. What is that? It's paint. <laughs> it's paint. Plasma nitride. So you're confident? It's going to do the business. Have it's you got going to go message straight for through them? Go home, guys. You're going to get trashed. From Huntingdon, Dominator 2. A Series 4 semi-finalist now improved with a unique bi-wedge shape and 12 kilos of slam from the pneumatic axe. It has a plasma nitride coated titanium shell. From Stan Brown, the Executioner. The 22-ton front-mounted hydraulic cutting blade is designed to split and crush its power by American motors. It can run upside down. It doesn't need a SREMEC. Once again, we've thrown in two house robots, Matilda with the Tuscan. Watch for that flywheel, it's devastating at the rear. Fighting with Matilda for us, Shunt with the Diamond Edge Axe, the Scoop and the electric motor. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Green light for go from the ref bot and immediately dominator two. After the executioner who tries to press that pit release button once and twice and misses. Got great control then and three times. I think they've done it just about at the end. Press the pit release button. Yes, there it goes. So what's the executioner going to do with it? Oh my goodness me! They do themselves straight into the pit. Well, it took them long enough to activate the pit release and as soon as they did it, they went straight down. Mark Nenadich, Ian Sanford and young David. Well, they were big with the bravado, but out there, little control. The executioner executed itself. Dominator is the winner. How long did it take to build a robot? Uh, 18 months. And um, 18 seconds, and you're in the pit. Yeah, we're doing really well. Oh, hey, 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 we're hey, on hey, a roll. hey. We're on a roll. You're a wild card entry. You're fighting for the right to come and join the Robot Wars <laughs> family. <laughs> Do you I'm going to ask the audience. Do you think we should allow this robot yeah. into the Robot Wars family? Yes. Oh, not sure. No, we're not sure. <laughs> I wouldn't be. Um, I'm, and neither am I, I must be honest. I think we'll give you a chance one more time to prove yourselves another time. Because you that was just pure accident, wasn't it? It was a bit unfortunate, yeah. Never mind. I'm never going to live it down, am I? Let's face it. It's going to haunt me for the rest of my life, this moment. Uh, retribution enough, you actually. Know, my five minutes of fame. <laughs> yeah, What's happened? Turned to 18 <laughs> seconds, didn't it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the executioner! I'm not talking to you, isn't it? No. Right. You didn't do anything. <laughs> so, so bye bye then. Ladies and gentlemen, Dominator 2! <laughs> Robot Wars in all its destructive glory will be right back.